In this question, we have an LTI system with an impulse response of a shifted Dirac function, a shifted impulse at t equals 1. And the question is, what's the output if the input is a scaled impulse, or an impulse with weight 5? So there's the obvious way of doing this is just simply um, apply the scaling property, and we're allowed to do that because it's a LTI system, and the L bit means linear, and that means it must be additive and homogeneous, and homogeneous implies scaling. So. That's the easy way to do it, but I want to show you another way um, of finding the same result. So the easy way is simply by saying, well, 5 times 2 is 10 times an impulse at t equals 1 second. But there's another way of doing it. So let me um, take you all the way back, and we will do this by carrying out a convolution between the input x of t and the impulse response. So. What you could do is say it's x of t convolved with h of t. So y of t equals convolution integral from minus infinity to infinity 5. Now, instead of t, we'd be using alpha or tau. So now we have this strange situation where we have two impulses multiplied together, and we want to find the integral. So remember the sifting property of the delta Dirac function, or the Dirac delta function. And that said, when you integrate any function times an impulse, at some value alpha, or let's call it a in this case, dt, then we can write the result immediately as f of a, where a is that value of t that makes the delta function non-zero. So t minus a equals zero, t equals a, and that's the value that goes in there. So that was called the sifting property. So we can apply the sifting property to our integration here. So it doesn't matter which function we choose as the f or the x, and which we use as the impulse. So what I will do is I will use this as my impulse, and this as my function. So I will find the value of alpha for which this argument is 0, i.e. for which the impulse function is non-zero. So I'll say t minus alpha minus 1 equals 0. So that gives you alpha equals t minus 1. And I'll take that value of alpha and I'll put it in there. And then we no longer need the integration. So the, the final uh, answer will be y of t equals 5 times 2 times the delta function at t minus 1. And that 5 times 2 I can replace with 10. And that's my final answer. So took a couple of minutes. We could have done this immediately using the scaling property, but it's possible by carrying out a convolution integration and then using the sifting property of the Dirac function to arrive at the same, um, the same result.